gentlemen, presenting Zach Thomas for enshrinement in the Pro Football Hall of Fame, Hall of Fame coach Jimmy Johnson. Thank you. Exactly 27 years ago today, August 5th, 1996, Jimmy Johnson named me the start mill linebacker for the Miami Dolphins. All you need is one chance, and Jimmy gave that to me. I was a kid who didn't look the part, and I was 154th draft pick. Where'd coach go? There he is. Hey, thank you, Jimmy, for believing in me and giving me that chance. I never wanted to let you down, coach. I always wanted to prove you right. Your passion and fire got the best out of everyone, and especially me. 27 years later, to this day, look how far we come, coach. Love you, man. I start with thanking God, who had his hand in all of this. At two years old, I was run over by a pickup truck. But you know what saved me that day? Dirt. If it was on concrete or pavement, I wouldn't be standing here right now. My life has taken a lot of dirt roads to get here. And one of those dirt roads led me to White Deer, Texas, population 1,110. In 1988, White Deer High School won a state championship led by Coach Wendy Williams. This is where I learned how to win. To those White Deer teammates and coaches, thank you for teaching me how to get here. Another dirt road took me to another small town, Pampa, Texas. That's where I learned from great coaches and great men like Dennis Cavalier and Max Pluck. Max Plunk taught me a read that he drew up on a napkin. That read got me labeled instinctive and smart for the rest of my career. Academically, I wasn't ever labeled smart, trust me. I got held back before I even got to kindergarten. How you get held back before you even get to school, but. On my, my next road took me to the cotton fields of Lubbock, Texas. I was recruited to Texas Tech to play fullback, but there was this guy by the name of Bam Morris who I knew I couldn't beat out. So I went back to the defensive side of the ball. How crazy is that? Thank you, Bam. I'm humbled to be the first Red Raider inducted into the Hall of Fame. So thank you to the late Spike Dykes, John Goodner, my fellow Red Raider teammates, coaches, and staff. I will always be grateful for what you did for me. Wreck them. <laughs> Coach Mike Westoff, I see you. You flew from Miami to good old Lubbock, Texas to scout me. And I thank you for embellishing my stats and especially that 40 time. <laughs> You're a great friend, Mike. I left those dirt roads for Miami and there's no other place I'd rather call home. So thank you to the late Wayne and Marty Hazinga, Stephen Ross and Tom Gar Garfinkel for keeping this organization family and first class. To all my coaches who challenged me every day and prepared me to play my best. The late George Hill, Joel Collier, Randy Shannon, Jim Bates, Bob Sanders, George Edwards, thank you. Dave Wanstead, Dom Capers, Glenn Pyers, John Gamble, B. Rowe, you all made me better. To my teammates, 
Trace Armstrong. I respected your play and professionalism. Your character was a first-class example of a man I aspired to be. Larry Izzo. I'll see you too, Larry. Yes, sir. My day one roommate and best friend. We came in together as undersized long shots and created the best memories, laughters, and stories I will take with me forever. And you finished with three rings, man. Real jerk. Don't you be wearing those rings to my party tonight, man. <laughs> Tim Bowens. Yes, sir. You're one of the most underrated and unselfish players I've ever known. You are a bad man, Timbo. And there was nothing more reassuring than seeing your big butt in front of me on Sundays. And I played with the two of the best cornerbacks in the game, and Pat Sertain and Sam Masson. Talk about making my job easier. Yes, sir. Dan Marino. Your talent and toughness are the reason they call you the man and the legend. Love you, Dan. Jason Taylor. I was honored to play beside you. You're the best and most intense competitor I've ever played with and father to my awesome niece and nephews, Isaiah, Mason, and Zoe. To all my defensive line and linebackers who did all the dirty work and I got all the credit, I am forever grateful. The linebacker room was full of unselfish guys like Dwight Hoyer, Derek Rogers, Robert Jones, Channing Crowder, O.J. Bergantz, Moreland Greenwood, to name a few. Love you guys. I also want to thank the entire Dolphin organization for being my second family. Stu, Ben, Seth, Tony, Fudge, Harvey, Father Leo, K.O., Joe, Charlie, and especially my man, Troy Maurer. You were my family for 12 years, and I can't thank you enough. Drew and Jason Rosenhaus, you, you are both more than agents to me. You both are hardworking, relentless, positive, and loyal friends. And to all my passionate Miami Dolphin fans, you mean the world to me. When I looked up in the stands and saw you wearing my number 54, I knew I couldn't let you down. Thanks for believing in me until the very end and even putting pressure on the Hall of Fame to get me here. Here we go. To all the Buffalo, New England, and New York Jet fans. Hold on. I got it coming for you. Despite all the things you screamed at me, threw at me, and did to me, don't tell anybody this, I really enjoyed it. And I still do, hey. Yeah. The robberies are what make the NFL so great. Bill Belichick, it was a privilege to play against you and your team. Kevin Mawai, you're one of the best and toughest opponent I ever faced. And I'm not even feeling real comfortable with you sitting behind me right now, man. Look at him over there. But I'm so relieved to see you out of that ugly green jacket and wearing a gold one. It's nice. God bless me with a Hall of Fame family. My greatest influence in my life are my mom and dad. Both are God-loving parents who instilled hard work, the Catholic faith, and compassion for others. Mom led with love, kindness, and a whole lot of discipline. Dad taught me toughness, respect, and how to compete in everything, even the races in the front yard that I never won. But Dad, you jump the gun all the time, man. Stop, he's smiling. <laughs> My brother Bart, you're my hero, man. Whew. We battled in everything, and you won everything. Your pursuit of greatness led me to do the same. When everybody else was out partying on Friday night, you and I were in the school gym working out and listening to cassette tapes of Houdini, Nucleus, Cameo, and LL Cool J. We wore those cassette tapes out, man. That was awesome. Love you, bro. Katina, you have always been our family cheerleader and party starter, bringing positive vibes to everyone you meet. 
You're like the spirit of mom. Love you, sis. Most importantly, I want to thank my beautiful wife, Maritza, for not listening to her brothers when they told her not to date an NFL football player. It's true. And both of them got my jersey on right now. That's crazy. Yeah. All right. Babe. Yes, sir. Babe, we've been together 20 years now. And I thank you for your love and support always. You're the strength of our family, and I'm grateful to share this moment and life with you. Love you, babe. <laughs> to my kids, Christian, Valentina, and Sienna, there's no greater honor than being your dad. I've gone from doing everything I could to reach my dreams to doing everything I possibly can to help you reach yours. And never forget that I love and believe in you unconditionally forever and ever. Whew, I got, got through it. To, all, to the Hall of Fame committee and people of Canton, thank you for your hospitality. Jim Porter, Hayden Dennis, thank you for treating my family and friends like royalty. To this incredible class of 2023, congratulations. But there's one person whose name I've yet to mention. His poster hung on my wall in college, and he was everything I wanted to be as a football player. He was my inspiration, and he became my teammate and friend. Though he's not here physically, he's here in spirit and in a bust in that building behind me. I'm truly honored to join him. Junior Seah, love you, buddy. All right, here we go. In closing, this is a dream come true for this small town country boy to be standing here on this stage with all these legends behind me. My football career has come full circle from August 5th, 1996, being given that one chance to August 5th, 2023, being forever enshrined into the Pro Football Hall of Fame, baby. Thank you, God bless you, God bless our troops, and God bless America. Woo.